Hello, my name is Evan Norman. I'm going to tell you a little bit extra information on the graphics channels. So, the graphics channels is uh, new in 3.7 and uh, they can be used for a lot of things. Uh, you can use them as layers, so to say. Uh, you can send uh, graphics to them from external applications. And uh, we are going to look a little bit on how they behave uh, in this way. So, let me take up a, a scene here. I have a simple scene here. And it has some graphics and it has a live video in the background. That one is configured in this case here as the background image. So. I go to the DVE and it is mainly on the DVE that you are getting the performance benefit of graphics channels. So let's add some graphics channels. They are on the built-ins, uh, texture sources, and you simply drag them in here. Uh, and they come in default as full screens. If I click this one, I can select which uh, scene I want to have in. I have made some really, really simple full screen scenes. So here you see, now uh, first you have the background, which was the, uh, the live video. Then you have uh, a full screen graphics channel. Then you have the foreground graphics, and that is the graphics you see here, uh, the name Strap. So uh, you could perfectly well use graphics channels as full screens, but you could also scale them down. So let's scale them down like this and we can move them. You could animate them as well. Let's add another graphics channel. And this one and it comes again in as, as a um, full screen. I scale it down again like this and I can put a scene to it. I can take this scene called number two. And you see number two is now on top of number one. So let me move it a little bit down here like this. So you see the foreground and the graphics in the scene is uh, totally on the top. Then you have number two, then you have number one, and then you have the video in the background uh, behind. The background, you cannot, cannot move. It will always stay there. But the foreground, you can move. So I could move the foreground behind the graphics channel, for example. Or all the way behind that one. Or you could take number two behind, number one in front of that, change them like this. So you can set up your scene in whatever way you want. And uh, there's even some very advanced scenes that are changing this with scripts dynamically from uh, outside applications and so on. Just to give you some ideas. Uh, it could be full screens, but it could also typically be uh, graphics that contains a uh, key. So let me just take in something like this here. And on the, the number one, I can take in this one. So you can see this could be uh, elements that was part of your uh, design. Now I put this one on top of the strap and so on. Uh, another uh, big advantage with these graphics chance is that they contain their own uh, perspective. So if I have, for example, a rotating cube like this, and I move it this around in the scene, it would still contain the same perspective as, as it has its own uh, camera, like this. Now, uh, let's move over to Trio to see a little bit how we can uh, use this from an external application. I have made a scene here. Let's open up that one. 
and just has uh, three empty uh, graphics channels. It looks like this. And it has that cogwheel uh, on top there. So I want to populate those graphics channels from Trio with different scenes. And let's see how we can do that. Uh, the first thing you need to do in Artist is to go to your config file uh, that you find in the f in the in the um, folder with uh, this three. And you see on this section here, this one, the default uh, installation uh, with with three is that it says none there. This you change to the port number. Uh, which you are going to control, where it starts up. So we have used 55,000 as uh, the regular way of using this. So then you save this down, and you must have this on your engines that you are playing to, and there must be 3.7, of course, or newer. Then you switch uh, um, back to Trio, I go here, and you see I have imported some uh, scenes here. Uh, now you need to set up your profile. So I go to my profile configuration here. So you see I have the uh, OT engine, which is my main engine that I'm talking to. This one is uh, uh, talking to port 6100. That is the default port of uh, this engine. While the graphics channels that I want to control, they start on 55,000. So I just type in 55,000 there. And I drag it in and I call it graphics channel number one. Same way, I have set graphics channel number one, two and three. And they have the next numbers. You don't, in the config file, you only define 55,000 and it will take the next port above that. So 55,001 uh, and 55,002. Uh, also, you see here, I have configured the, uh, the video playout as well here. With uh, the asset storage from Movies 1, so I can send also clips to these graphics channels. So when you have configured in your profile these four, uh, in this case, four channels, the OT engine is set as the program and the three others are channels. You could set up more. There are 16 that is enabled in Artist. Then you go in here and we open up the scene that I wanted to send my uh, my uh, scenes to and you see under channels here in this case I set it to program that is the same as the OT engine it could be that could be any of those and I can simply press direct take on this one and it will start playing on the VIS engine uh, now I want to send other scenes to the graphics channels inside this scene, which is in the main layer. And I've taken in some pages with the, the, with the full screens that you saw. And you can select here on the channels. In this case I take number one on this one. So if I take this one, it will fill number one. This one is set to graphics channel number two. But you could switch them directly from operation as well. And this one is number three. So you see, this with this, you will be able to make a lot of ideas, a lot of ways to fill the screen uh, uh, in, in a kind of an intelligent way. And uh, we expect to see a lot of exciting uh, projects uh, using these graphics channels.